Hello Angel Baby, so I'm here with another video. Let's jump right in. <clears throat> this strength card popping out here. The fool card popping out here. Somebody's taking a risk to be strong, to be brave. Okay, strength card and queen of rods popping out again, so could be dealing with a Leo. I could say she and mean he. I could say her and mean him. Okay, take it how it resonates. And please remember that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody. Okay, so we're also popping out with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, okay? So there's been some lies in the past. There's been some untold truths, okay? Some lies and some untold truths. Possibly about a family or finances <clears throat> or a family's finances. And we also have the full here. So I think an untold truth is somebody took a risk with their stability okay we also have the ace of pentacles here but they're being offered it back somebody took a risk with their stability and they're being offered a small percentage of it back we have the king of rods like i said you could be dealing with a leo sagittarius or aries i have strong leo vibes as i was shuffling Yes, this person took a risk, okay, a bad decision that ended up with heartbreak, okay? They have some pain over this situation. They took a risk with their stability, okay? What was the risk? What was the risk? With the Empress. So, somebody took a risk on a mother figure, okay? Somebody took a risk on, um... A mother figure for somebody that seemed like they had it all yeah somebody that seemed dependable and stable okay but really it just led to turmoil and being extremely hurt okay being extremely bothered being extremely torn apart Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. So you have two Aces here. So not only are you being offered a percentage of your stability back with the Ace of Pentacles, but you're being offered a percentage of healing, a good cup of healing here as well to heal past the situation. But I do see a masculine energy, okay, thinking that this was a dependable offer, thinking that this Empress was a dependable offer, okay? I feel like, for some of you, like I said, I could mean she and then mean he, but I see two different people here. This person had some unspoken truth, okay? This king of rods has some unspoken truth and decided to take a risk on this being their empress, okay? So somebody took a risk on, on, on who they thought was an empress but really was a karmic, okay? Okay? I'm also feeling like this person like feels like they wasted their time in this situation. Like they wasted a lot of um, really bad arguments in this situation. Yeah, we have a mature woman here. And we also have official person in the reverse. So this person, like I said... This person seemed like they had a dependable offer, but really they are, they're not even an official person. They're not, you know, they don't have anything together. And when I say official person, I mean like they don't have their finances together. They don't have nothing, okay? They have absolutely 
nothing together about themselves. So I feel like this masculine took took their chances on thinking that this was the one and it wasn't. Yeah, we have a message from a main male coming through. So this could be your person coming through in this reading, their energy, okay? But um, somebody's masculine tried to make it seem like, yeah, they're in bad health now because you're a privileged lady. You have all of your stuff together, okay? You have all of your stuff together and this person doesn't know where they fit in at. So... You know, I feel like this is kind of the age-old story of this person didn't choose you because they thought person B was better. So they put A down and choose person B and then that person turns out not to be who they say they are. <clears throat> Happens all the time for some reason in these twin flame connections where you have people that mimic the empress. You know what I mean? You have people that mimic being somebody that they're not you know what I mean and it's easy to do that because you can be in a relationship with somebody and be um completely open to what it is that that person wants from a person in their in a relationship and then you become kind of addicted to just becoming and morphing into this person and no longer are you yourself when you do that so it's kind of one of those situations this person fell for somebody that was willing to morph into what they wanted versus being actually what they wanted so let's get some wisdom house of the night oracle that flew out and we have belonging yeah this person was trying to figure out where they belong <laughs> in this situation because you're now the privileged lady and this person you're now the privileged lady okay and this person now this king of wands is in the bad health okay they, they don't really know what to do anymore they have nowhere to go anymore <clears throat> And that just kind of happens because a lot of times these masculines burn their bridges with their divine feminines and then they realize that the person that they're after or mistreated you for is, is you know, not their person. And you're like, well, ta-da, you should have known that, but oh well. Not much I can do about it. I healed and I feel a whole lot better not having you around. So you, it's kind of like your twin has to figure it out by themselves. Which, I mean, it's their fault. So if you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. So I, like I said, I figured you, you've been focused on yourself Angel Baby, you haven't really been focused on this person, but they've been going through quite a bit since you've been gone, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are singing, like, that Kelly Clarkson song in spirit since you've been gone, you know, like, I can breathe, like, I feel really good, I don't feel bad, that I'm where it's kind of relieving, almost like a relieving feeling, and we also have... Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is re receiving accurate messages from the divine right now, okay? So if you've been receiving messages from this person or just been thinking about this person lately and you're like, hey, I didn't like that. I'm glad I'm not dealing with that anymore or something along those lines, okay? Those are messages from your intuition that you don't need to be interacting with this person at all anymore, okay? <laughs> um, we also have... Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, and this situation, everyone involved. <clears throat> or as well as everyone involved. But yeah, so this fear here that you have of this person being somewhat better than you are more experienced or decorated or 
whatever, like this, this karmic here, they're, they really have nothing. Okay. They're, they're not a dependable offer. This person just took a risk. It's did not lead well at all. There are no cup cards here in this pile for this karmic. Okay. It, just nothing. Nothing at all. And even their knight of pentacles, it's, it's not a king or a queen. You know what I mean? So even that's coming as quick or slow but immature. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not like this person has it all. So if that's something that you were thinking, Spirit wants to let you know that they do not have it all. That there's plenty of stuff for them to work on as well. So we have you're a powerful light worker. And we also have solar plexus chakra. It's safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life. It's funny because these two cards I did in another reading, um, I had in another reading earlier this morning. It's something about spirit wanting to let you know that you're powerful and you're very, very capable of going through um, this process of healing from being with this person. Okay, and I know that's easier said than done, but it's something about being powerful and possessing the power within yourself already that you don't need to interact with this person anymore. Okay, um, let this person kind of deal with their own crap in a sense. You know, like this person created this situation because they thought that something was going to be better and it's not so... You know, let that person deal with their own stuff. I hope that that helped you and thank you for listening if you got to this point so far and I will see you in the next one. Bye Angel Babies.